yo what is going on steeler nation we are back with episode 224 of the steel factory podcast i'm joined by my co-host today what up what up what up what's up and how how's everybody doing feel good feel all right pretty good yeah just doing my own thing (laughs) all right um we have quite the show a little bit a little bit of news from the past week um some more interesting takes what do you guys want to dive into first here? The new linebacker coach. Okay, all right. All right, so we hired Aaron Curry, I think, in the middle of the week. The the kind of initial reports were out there on Sunday. Uh, Aaron Curry is a former, like, top draft pick by the Seahawks. I think he went fourth overall. Uh, I think he played middle or inside linebacker, right? Uh, inside linebackers. Um, And then he was, like, a defensive assistant for the Seahawks, the team that drafted him. And then we brought him in to our our coaching staff. And what's interesting is we we parted ways with our old defensive, uh, our, our old inside linebackers coach. I don't have the name on me, but I'm pretty sure he was already being phased out because we had Brian Flores last year kind of just manning the ship there. What are, what are the thoughts here? I mean, I, th- I think it's good. We finally have a, I mean, maybe it's good. It's a, it's a young coach. He's 36, right? 36, yeah. Uh, so, he, I mean... I think it's always kind of good to have someone so young in there um, and maybe has a better idea of of just like what the modern day NFL kind of feels like compared to coaches that have never played. Because cause right? cause I'd say uh, inside linebacker is kind of an evolving position at this time with a high passing league, right? Um, but at the same time, too, they still got to play their original role and like stopping the run, filling the run gaps, all that. Um, but now these guys are asked to cover like tight ends and sometimes even receivers with the way our defense is designed, I'd say. Um, and it's been a pretty big weak link. Uh, Devin Bush or Devin Bust, uh, you could throw that out there. Miles Jack was pretty underwhelming this past season. He was supposed to be a really, really nice signing. Didn't really pan out too well. And then we have Bob Spillane out there. Um, so yeah, we got rid of our old linebackers coach, but he, uh, he was already being phased out with Brian Flores kind of doing all that. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I'm glad he's young. What else? What else is there on him? I don't know. It was our worst position group last year. So getting rid of that coach and bringing in anyone else is probably a great move. He's young. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like the move. Uh, Came from Pete Carroll Street. I like Pete Carroll. That's true. That's true. I'll take that. Pete Carroll is a defensive guy too, so that's they, good to they've see. Had some, they've had some nice linebackers up in Seattle, dude. Yeah. I'll oh, what this. if? What if? Well, let's get into this then. Do you think this will help us get Bobby Wagner? I heard Adam Curry and Bobby Wagner are each other's kids' godfathers. Dick. Are they really? That's what I heard, too. <laughs> the grapevine? I, I just heard it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid fuck. <laughs> just kids' godfathers. Stupid dick. I go way back. Yeah, but... Oh, yeah, but yeah, let, let's, let's, let's go into that really quick. Bobby Wagner just got cut by the Rams. He's going to be 33, I believe. Let me pull up that. Um, we kind of, we, we thought it'd be a long shot last year, but we ended up did signing Miles Jack. Um, but he signed with the Rams thinking he was going to, you know, basically run it for a chip. Uh, but he'll be turning 33 in June. I don't know. Yeah. I think he was still good last year, right? The age really hasn't caught up to him. What do we think? What do we think? I think, uh, I, I think, I think he's still probably good. I think he'd be fucking sick to have on this defense. There's no chance though. I think he's probably going to go. Um, to any team he, he thinks is a contender, he might, you know, the bill. I don't know. Like, the cap in the NFL is kind of bullshit. Like, there's enough room for anybody if you just, like, try hard enough. You can, you can make it happen. Yeah. Uh, I think so the I, Rams I, saved $5 million on the cap by cutting him. I don't know what that tells you. The Rams kind of are a dumpster fire right now, even though they won the Super Bowl a year ago. I would take this that, tells though. Me, what this tells me, though, is, uh, is uh, Jalen Ramsey's becoming... He's becoming a little bit of an asset for them as far as trades go. They got to figure out what they're doing right now. If they're just going to, you know, reset or what. Um, but yeah, We've been talking Ramsey the last couple episodes. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know where I stand with Bobby Wagner. I think you give him a year. Um, but I, I don't know what the what he's going to be looking for. I think what you said earlier was the Miles Jack contract. I would just do that for him. Like a two-year, around $8 million a year annual average? For a Hall of Fame linebacker? 
I would do it. How many all pros does he have? Like five? That's actually yeah, pretty insane. No, but we're already also kind of considering Tremaine Edmonds here. Would you like, because I know people are saying you could save, you know, whatever it is with Miles Jack if you cut him, however many cap space. You could bring in Tremaine Edmonds and and Bobby Wagner. What kind of, what, would that be a solid duo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking sick ass duo. Imagine. Fuck. I mean, what? That'd be an awesome duo, dude. Wasn't Bobby Wagner second team all pro last year? Was he still? I don't know. Let me pull up. I got the Wikipedia up here right now. Let me scroll. Um, he might be better than Edmonds right now. Because I'm I'm willing to completely <laughs> just reset our inside linebackers group. Let Devin Bush walk. Cut Miles Jack. Um, he was fuck. He was he was a sec, second team all pro. Holy shit. Yeah, maybe He's we're sixteen or six time first team, three time second team. That's pretty much every year he's been in the NFL. He's on the decline, is what I'm hearing. We might be lowballing him though for eight million a year. You think, think he'd I... ask for more than eight million? Miles Jack's contract? Yeah, I mean maybe not long term money, but just I just I don't see Wagner going to I mean maybe he wants one last little payday if we if we overpay him a bit. But I, I think he's going just to any team that has a that has a a chance to make it at the same real time run. too. But yeah, we have a quarterback on a rookie deal at the end of the day. Here, I was gonna say I don't want to put any more money on the defense because that it's just been disappointing, especially that Bengals game. They kind of tightened up here and there. I right, think about this. Think about this. What's up? What if we had what if we had Edmonds, Wagner, and Ramsey on the defense, and we kept the offense the same except added Addison. Like, are we are we contenders at that point? I'd get ready to start shining my chip. We draft a line, yeah, like with every other pick. <laughs> yeah, you go Addison, and then you go, you go, oh shit, you go uh, offense tackle the rest of the the rest of the way. We get three more years of uh of dicking around with the cap, and and then <laughs> after that, it's we just blow it up. Blow it I would up. do it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, let me know. Should we do it? I'm just yeah, yeah. okay. right, start writing up the email to Omar Khan. So we have outlined. <laughs> Is it you think it's o- 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 Khan at Steelers.com? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um cool. All right, we have a couple other free agents here. Uh let's just go down the list. Uh what what do we think about Odell? I like Odell. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever I don't think he'd ever be a Steeler. Can you forgive him for being on the Browns for a couple years? He left the Browns in shambles. I, so, yeah. I completely forgot about that. So yeah, <laughs> um, I saw go, I go. saw a Browns Odell jersey fucking thrifting the other day. <laughs> it was their uh, poop brown color. Poop brown was it? What the one with like the orange numbers and shit? Yeah, shit's ugly. As fuck. <laughs> fucking nasty. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I I think he's good. The ACL is fine. I think he did a really smart move, kind of just holding out and not end up playing the whole year, which is honestly surprising. But I I think he's gonna command a lot more money than I think he's worth, just because the name. You know what I mean? I think someone like yeah, Juju would be cheaper. I know we talked about him last week. I think Odell's definitely going for like one last paycheck, like because then he when he signed with the Rams for the one year deal, he already got his chip right. Like so, that's kind of like over and done with as far as he's concerned. I think he's, and then he made all of his money Bitcoin, and it went down like sixty percent. So fucking moron, huh? So I, I have a feeling Odell's going for a. How much? How much was that in Bitcoin though? Was that seventy five k or seven hundred fifty k? It was like it was like even if it was a million dollars, he's he's down to like fucking three hundred k. And then you add in the LA uh, income tax. Fuck. Or California. What was yeah, it? Yeah. Contract. Money. Was a four hundred k signing bonus? I forgot. Oh, so four hundred k, average salary a million two hundred fifty thousand. Fuck. But I think it was around seven hundred fifty k, right? I want to get this. I'm actually interested to see how much this fucking declined. Those are hurting, but oh yeah, it was seven hundred fifty k salary in Bitcoin. Yeah, I think he's gonna need a big payday. I'm sure he's doing fine though right now. I mean, he was probably doing fine before that. <laughs> That's why he was willing to take that risk, huh? 
Bug. The Browns give him a nice little payday, right? I'm sure, yeah. right? What they had, they can't. I still can't believe that OBJ. They had fucking Jarvis Landry, um, all at the same time with fucking what Nick Chubb and um, who's the other running back, Kareem Hunt. Yeah, they dicked us. That's true. Yeah, they still <laughs> dicked us. Fuck. Um, for one year, yeah. All right, I throw another receiver out here. That's uh, might be a little bit cheaper and is around the same age. Uh, the Titans just released him this past week. Robert Woods. The Titans just had probably like a passing offense, not on par, but like definitely akin to the Bears' passing offense. Which I mean, that's non-existent, dude. It, like it, they didn't do anything at all. And the defense or the offense ran through Derrick Henry, obviously, right? Uh, I think at this point you could probably put Kenny above Tannehill as a passer, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't dig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I I haven't. I don't, yeah, the Titans don't have much of a passing offense, so I don't really know where to gauge Robert Woods. But he's an interesting name to throw out there, I'd say, especially uh, considering we do need a veteran receiver. Some people would say. Um. Yeah. I would say that's Deontay in, in the locker room. I would love for that to be Deontay, especially what we're paying him already, but I don't know. He's just not that kind of person, I don't think. Yeah, I, I did. you did see a little bit of uh, if him kind of talking uh, to GP on the sideline a little bit throughout the year. Um, But yeah, when you think of veteran receiver, you just think reliable, and like reliable is the last thing you'd put next to Deontay, I'd say. Is Robert Woods reliable? Fuck, I don't yeah. know. Is he? I think is he? Is. Yeah, I had him on my fantasy team when uh when the Rams copped and uh he got hurt. So oh, he was injured, yeah. <laughs> Not very reliable for me that year. Um, we'll see. That's an interesting name though. Uh, also about to be cut by the Rams. We are not the Rams. The Titans. I mean, should we just talk about this? But Dupree, the old familiar face. Could this be? Buddy. Could this be the depth we need again at outside linebacker? He's about to turn thirty or thirty-one, I think. So I think he still has some gas left in the tank. He's had a couple of injuries, though. But uh, he's not going to be starting or anything. We have Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt, obviously. Not if we trade Highsmith. That's also too. That's another thing. I wonder if that happens, though. I don't think there's any... I haven't heard any any whispers about uh, anything any close to an extension or even getting traded at this point. So I really don't know what's happening there. Maybe we, maybe like we try to wait for the the trade deadline because it looks like we're finally not afraid to make moves, and that's when his value is probably going to be like. Oh yeah, how higher. about that? You you get you get Dupree, have him ride the bench, you know, be you know spell TJ whenever. You let Alex Highsmith get to around ten sacks by like week ten, and then you fucking ship him off, huh? Yeah, and then that that's when it's like, that's when you can uh, pull another fleece like the the Bears. Right, and then people like, realize that oh, he was just playing opposite of T.J. Watt for the whole year, huh? Yeah, you just kind of put bad. pressure on teams that are trying to get over the top or not like, get over the hump. I I that he's, yeah, four, fourteen and a half sacks is a fucking lot, dude. <laughs> With yeah. T.J. missing half the year. <laughs> Claypool, Claypool was good in theory, but he just wasn't good. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there, dude. Damn, yeah, we were yeah. gassed up about Claypool. He was a fucking specimen. It's unfortunate. I, I, that's all he was, though. That's true. Um. So, are we getting a yes on Dupree? You'd like to see what happens? Yeah, here? I like Dupree. Dupree had a good year that last. The last year he the was last with us. Couple is years, when... he had like double digit sacks. Yeah, that's why he got yeah, paid. Yeah, he got paid a lot. not by us, but he got paid. Yeah. And then the end of the day, we saw we had Highsmith still, so we didn't feel the need to pay him. Um, and then we got we got Javon Hargrave here. Uh, the one that got away, obviously, right? Yeah. <laughs> who, who is Javon Hargrave going to fill in for on our defensive line? Um, Hayward? Hayward would play beside him, right? I think Hargrave's more of a nose, right? He's more of a middle kind of guy. Yeah. Well, I think he fits better in a 4-3, right? When he's, like, not entirely the middle in the 3-4. That's true. Then again, it's just, like, it's usually, like, Cam and someone else, and then TJ and Alex Highsmith on the other side, or on opposite sides. Uh, Damn, that's a nasty fucking line, dude. Hargrave, we, Cam, we TJ, really and Highsmith. Need, we really need another another D lineman alongside Cam. Uh, assuming Leal is gonna still kind of be a a role player, not really much a starter yet. 
Um, but I, I, I don't know. I don't think Ogan Joby is the answer there. I like him. I don't know how much you get out of him, though. You know what I mean? I would love a lot more like reliable guy like Hargrave to come back, even. I think we just trade up to the second pick or the first pick <laughs> and get the D-line then out of Georgia. Fuck. Yeah, I, I think it'll just take our, our 17th or 32 and our first next year, right? I think 17 and 32 will get the job done. <laughs> Stupid oh, yeah. Oh, and and sure. then we'll throw, in, uh, we'll throw in Mitch, you know, a little bit of a... <laughs> All right, a little let's, bit let's, let's get into that. <laughs> um, so Ken, Kenny and the boys, and by the boys, I mean the receivers. Yeah, Deontay. I think I saw George Pickens, obviously. Calvin Austin, that's good. He's kind of like bouncing back from his injury already. I think Steven Sims and Connor Hayward were there. But also, surprisingly, Mitch Trubisky went to Florida to throw off the wide receivers with Kenny. What, what what do we make of this? Because the rumors were that he was already saying that he regrets signing with the Steelers. And we honestly, we save what, like eight, 10 million if we cut him? Something like that. I mean, I think, I think at this point, Mitchell's trajectory is for his career, at least, is just a career backup, dude. Like, you have to kind of. You have to kind of just accept it. Like it's everyone's dreams job to some extent. Maybe not Who, his. Who's the guy number the one that just retired? Chad Henney. Chad Henney. <laughs> Can you imagine he retired on top and he and he actually like made a difference in the playoffs too. Like he fucking sleeps good at night. Then his uh, career earnings end up being like around forty million too. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, those are probably like. He's like the kind of guy that would be a head coach around one day, huh? Like a backup quarterback. Should we cop? I'd bring him in. <laughs> Our quarterback coach. Pick his brain. Does he work with Mahomes? Just put him as the OC, bud. Probably better yeah. off. Damn, imagine we get some of that fucking Andy Reid sparkle. Well, yeah, so we wanted with the enemy, then it fucking happened. Would you take Chad Henny over the enemy? No. Or is that, or is that still kind of racist? <laughs> I wouldn't right now, but I would take him over Matt Canada. I would take him over Matt Canada, yeah. Oh, we still have Matt Canada. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I heard they're saying a fourth for Mitch. Who's going to trade for Mitch, though? The, um, I don't know. Well, I don't you, you have to. Damn, that's why I'm really interested to see what's going to happen with free agency. This quarterback shuffle. Yeah, who the fuck's going to trade for Mitch? <clears throat> I could see. I would just wait for him to get cut if you wanted him. Well, that's what people were probably assuming with fucking Mason Rudolph, and we didn't end up cutting him. Well, one of them's getting cut this year, I think. Well, Mason's walking already. Oh, yeah, we don't have to sign him. I mean, um, I think quarterbacks is pretty. It's probably the the position in the NFL right now that's like getting shuffled the most with fucking Derek Carr and Aaron Rodgers. Well, how the darkest retreat going? Did you did you see the pictures? It looked like a five star hotel. I'm not even gonna lie. He's just chilling. In the darkness retreat. <laughs> <laughs> I could get sunlight whatever you want. You just had to peel back the curtain. <laughs> Would you do a darkness tree with, with Aaron Rodgers? I'd be fucking weirded out. What about with Kenny? Yeah, dick. I don't know enough about Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> what about with Ben? Did it, no. <laughs> <laughs> What was the what was the one thing? It's like like dinner with Kenny or fifty k. Like, dude, give me the fucking fifty k. <laughs> Darkness is true. And Rogers or ten k. Dick, ten k. <laughs> Stupid bitch. Um. Anyway, going back to Mitch, I honestly I, as much as it pains me to say, because I fucking hated those first like four weeks when he started. I think you gotta keep him. Now, is there probably better better alternatives to backup quarterbacks this year? Probably. And I think they might be cheaper. Um, I would just cut them. Like, um, I, th- I think we cut them and then just draft someone in the fucking sixth round. Like, what if what if we brought in like Jacoby Brissett instead? Nah, Jacoby Brissett's going to be like you a think he could start some trash team. Yeah. Yeah, I think he probably ends up on a bad team. Just... I think I think he's going to be a lot of teams' gap quarterbacks. This year? But that's how a lot of teams are going to look at him, yeah. Just because there's so much... Uh... The same way we saw Mitch? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I wouldn't keep Mitch around. 
here's what we have to do. We have to wait it out for Bridgewater to get signed as a gap quarterback and then trade Mitch to that team whenever he does get injured, because he will. Mitch could be another deadline guy. Yeah. So on the deadline guys right now, we have a uh, Highsmith and we have Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Deontay. We'll Deontay. <laughs> no, nah, I want to trade Deontay before the draft. Fuck. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think we end up trading Deontay. This is honestly... I don't think we end up trading Deontay. I'm not going to lie. Besides, like, this linebacker shit and then losing Brian Flores, I, I want to hear more more whispers, more rumors. Maybe because we're still about, like, two and a half weeks out. Or not even now. Straight up, like, two weeks, maybe. I thought I'd hear more talk already. Um, especially guys that we'd cut for cap space, like seeing the Titans make moves already. Are you surprised though to see us staying put like this though? Isn't isn't Khan the cap space guru? That yeah. that was like his whole thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of like these whispers come out during the combine, which is this week, right? Or next week? Yeah. We're all, the, we're the, all together, the... like all the executives are in one place. I have I have on the whiteboard it starts Tuesday. Maybe yeah. um may, maybe our yeah, maybe maybe our plans are kind of up in the air right now as far as like who we keep and who we cut, just because right, right, we right. we still don't have a super solid draft plan yet. Yeah, well, I, I, know, I, like, I still haven't gotten our draft plan out to con. Maybe we'll talk with the Rams on on Tuesday. Maybe <laughs> we'll talk business, huh? I heard McVeigh Hopefully. and Tomlin are, are good friends. They're each other's kids. <laughs> I bet. They were both on the Buccaneers stuff together, actually, right? They were where? I think so. The Buccaneer staff? McVeigh? He might have been really young, actually. Fuck, I want to say McVeigh was probably like... like McVeigh had to be uh, like, like 16, geez. dude. <laughs> All right. That was like three years off, but yeah. <laughs> I just look like oh, McVeigh's born in 86. Wasn't Tommy on the Bucks like in 2002? <laughs> Is it McVeigh's still the youngest coach in the league. Yeah. He's like 36. The connection was the Rams DC was on the Buccaneers with Tomlin. Right, right. So that's how they know each other. Fuck. Um, but Wade Phillips? Is that, who is no, uh, no, the Rams, he was on the Rams Raheem a while Morris. ago. Raheem Morris. Raheem Morris, right. Um, but yeah, the the big news this week, though, we saved this for last, is the, the urinals at Akersher Stadium being replaced. They took our tros. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. You know those long things? Oh, yeah. You see them at the Coliseum, right, Chewy? <laughs> are you in shambles? Those um, are fucking gross, dude. Yeah. How about this? How about this? It took it took one million and some change to to fix them. That's uh, about how much you'd have to pay me to touch it, yeah? That That's about how much we could have paid Matt Canada to sit at home this year and get another OC. How about that? I would have been willing to wait. <laughs> To do this whole process, <laughs> Matt, Matt Canada's dead money. We would have paid him a million if we would have just fucking fired him. Instead, we yeah, spent it on to, some fucking urinals. I go to Akershire a lot, and I don't think it's that big of a problem. I would have rather. <laughs> 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 Fuck. They took our. They took our name, our dignity, and our fucking urinals, dude. My drops. <laughs> Um. Yeah. Before we wrap it up here, any any other idea? Any other any other ideas for this off season? Any more whispers you guys have heard? I just heard that Bobby Wagner, godparent, whispered today. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I heard that today as well. Uh, did I come up with that today? No. <laughs> Aaron Curry and Bobby Wagner. <laughs> They can get along really good. <laughs> they get along real good. Um, but yeah, if there's nothing else you guys want to add, we're gonna wrap it up here. Steel Factory two two four. Um, I think we'll film one again. We're we looking for what after the combine, guys. Yeah, let's see if there's any whispers during this week. But yeah, um, we're gonna try to do at least weekly or bi-weekly. We really wanted to just throw out more more ideas this week because we saw the the Bobby Wagner stuff. Uh the Titans already released some stuff, already released some players. So so yeah, we'll we'll call it then. Thank you guys for so much for tuning in. Like, comment and subscribe and peace out.